Peace, y'all. So I'm back again with another episode of Dreaming with Deja. Um, this dream is on my heart to share. I'm walking to catch the bus, so y'all gonna hear my feet are moving. Um, side note, I made this shirt. Um, obviously, I didn't like sew the shirt, but like I did the tie-dye with turmeric. And I posted some TikToks about how I did it. So if you're interested in doing this with some turmeric, check out my TikTok. And I think I put it on Instagram Reels as well. So I've had a lot of dreams lately, but I want to talk about one that I had about a week ago where um, this dog is about to bark at me. I want to talk about a dream that I had a week ago, and I also want to talk about something that happened in the dream that's been reoccurring in a lot of my dreams lately. So um, the dream I had was that I was outside, and it was like a cemetery, I guess, but it was just a long row of graves, and I was with a little girl, and I was calling, her, like, it was like she was my daughter, but in later reflection, I kind of felt like she was my inner child, but it was like she was my daughter. She didn't look like me. She looked like my, I have a student that I teach. She just turned four years old and she looked a little bit like her. Um, a lot like my student who's Costa Rican. So, you know, lighter skin, like long flowy hair. Um, so in the dream, I was with like my daughter and I was showing her each of the graves and I was telling her that they were like, the ancestors that had come before her and we were doing little special things for each one like we were bringing offerings to each grave and like doing like a like little rituals for each person and i was just teaching her and in the dream i started to this is the thing that's reoccurring i started to feel like there was some gum in my teeth like as if there was like chewing gum in my teeth and i wanted to pull it out now this is something that has been reoccurring in my dreams literally like for months and even in the past couple of years i've had a lot of dreams where there was something kind of like gum in my um in the inside of my cheek and the thing that's always happening in the dream is that i notice it's in there and then i try to pull it out and then i like it's endlessly there i can never fully get it out of my mouth um so yeah that's something i've had dreams like that for years and lately it's been specifically like gum coming out of my teeth and I've had so many dreams like that. Like a few, maybe a month ago, I had a dream that I was in a room with my two older brothers and uh, I was pulling the gum out of my teeth. I had another dream like that too. And um, where I was looking at myself in the mirror. And I think I shared that on one of my um, Dreaming with Deja episodes. Like I was looking at myself in the mirror and I had stuff in my teeth and I was trying to get it out. Like this is a reoccurring thing. And I've done some research on it. And some of the things I find is like, it could mean that, um, there's something that I need to say that I'm not saying. So since I've been having these dreams, I've been really radical about just honesty, transparency, just saying what I really feel about stuff. So I'm still like, is there more still for me to say? Um, so I'm gonna keep sharing and keep being open and keep observing my dreams. But the last few times that it showed up in my dream, like it also showed up in my dream last night. Um, and last night it's a blur, but I just know that I realized that there was gum in my mouth. And it was in my teeth and now it's coming out in smaller pieces before it would just be one endless piece but now i can kind of get some of it out but i just feel like there's still more so i got some pieces out and i was like oh i'm dreaming and i was immediately lucid and the last time i had a dream like with it too um yeah like it also it, it triggered me becoming lucid so like the dream where i had my daughter and we were looking at all of the ancestors um, graves i uh realized that i had gum in my mouth and my teeth and i was like oh this is a dream and that's my mistake though because whenever i start to realize it's a dream and i get really lucid i'm so lucid that i just come back to this life because i think i'm so aware that i'm really here um but what i want is to be able to explore the dream like last night i realized i was lucid and i like was like oh and i like looked at myself in a mirror in the dream and i was just like you are limitless here this is the dream realm so just look around and that's what happens to me a lot when i become lucid I look around at my dream really closely and I'm like, what's going on? What's here? What could this mean? And I think sometimes I overanalyze it because I'm like, I need to carry this to the other form of Deja. <laughs> I need to carry these messages. But um, <laughs> yeah, because oftentimes when I try really hard to focus, I, I end up waking up. Um, but yeah, that, so that's what's going on with me and my dream life. If anyone here has had a dream similar as far as like the having something in your teeth that you can't get out, 
or if you have an interpretation of that please let me know like i'm so curious it's coming up so often now um like i said even last night in my dream that happened and i was just like oh now i'm lucid <laughs> very interesting i saw a lot last night um you know my dog just had puppies and there's been two times now where i've dreamt of them opening their eyes for the first time like a couple of nights ago i did and then last night too i dreamt that i was with my friends and they were checking out the puppies and then suddenly one of the puppies opened their eyes and i was like wow um it's her first time opening her eyes like because while y'all are here so yeah i've been seeing a lot of beautiful things last night i dreamt about being at my dad's house i dreamt about walking through this mall with my dad and my sister and i was eating a bag of hot cheetos the whole dream and it was like i was grown it was like now and i was walking around and i was just lit i was just like so happy to be eating these hot cheetos because one of those things that like my inner child really loves and i was just like wow i'm in the mall with my dad and my sister and i'm eating my favorite chips and i'm just happy <laughs> I was happy. I was frolicking in that dream last night. So yeah, a lot has been moving for me. The one about the ancestors and the graves was very powerful for me as well. You know, I've had a few dreams of myself with a child, like having my own child before. Like I've had a couple of dreams where I had a baby. I've had like two dreams where I had a bit of an older child, like this one where I had a young daughter who was about four or five. And before I had a dream about me having a son who was maybe like eight or nine in the dream. And yeah, <laughs> I've been kind of asking questions before I go to sleep. I've been like, you know, if there's anything that I need to know, please show it to me tonight while I'm sleeping. If there's any messages that you need to share with me, please show me tonight when I'm sleeping. And I'd be so excited to go to sleep, y'all. <laughs> I'd be mad excited to go lay myself down. Sometimes it'll be like, 7 p.m. and I'm like I'm just gonna go to bed so that I can fully enjoy this night of sleep and lately I'll be waking up in the middle of the night because the puppies start crying so I really value having several hours where I am just in the unconscious realm swimming around like the Pisces that I am and exploring <laughs> it's literally so much fun all right thanks for listening I know I'm slick out of breath but whatever see y'all next time Beep.